Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can add RAM to Minecraft 1.17 or 1.17.1. 1.17.1 scheduled to come out very, very soon. So this video may be 1.17.1 of the title. The process will be the exact same either way. However, we are going to be going a little more in depth than just adding RAM. And what I mean by that is we're not just going to show you how to add RAM to Minecraft. We are going to show you how to make sure you add enough RAM to Minecraft, whether you're running modded Minecraft, whether you're running vanilla Minecraft, and how much RAM you could possibly add to Minecraft, and make sure your computer isn't overloaded with how much RAM you've added. That's all covered in depth in this video. First and foremost, though, we do have our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below. The breakdown.xyz slash apex to get a server up and running. Nevertheless, we're here to get RAM, so the first thing we need to do is see how much RAM your computer has. To do that, we're going to hit the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, but click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen, and then type in System Information. You have the System Information app here. Click on that, and then in here, we are going to actually blur out or black out some information. Maybe. I don't know. If there, is there any information in here? Editor, who is much better at PC things than me, that needs to be blacked out? It doesn't look like it, actually. So anyway, we're just going to leave this the same. It's uh, Unless our editor does see something and he'll black that out. Nevertheless, what we want to look for is installed physical memory. Right down here it is for me, which is 16 gigabytes of installed physical memory. That's how much RAM you have on your computer. My case is 16 gigabytes. It might be 8. It might be 6. It might be 2 for you. But whatever that number is, that's how much RAM you have total on your computer. At no point should you ever go over half of that amount with RAM for just Minecraft. Basically, for me, I could go with 8 gigabytes of RAM, half of 16, and still be okay. If you have, for example, 4 gigabytes of RAM, don't go over 2 gigabytes and you'll be safe. So now we can go ahead and close out of system information. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is making sure you get the correct version of Java, because if you don't have the right version of Java, you may not be able to add more than like 1 gigabyte of RAM to Minecraft. Luckily, in the description down below, we have an in-depth guide on how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods and servers. But the thing is, this is the same version of Java that Minecraft uses. Normally, you just don't need it for vanilla Minecraft, but I have seen it time and time again. People say, hey, for some reason, I can't add more than one gigabyte, and it's because they don't have this version of Java. So come here, go through this easy three-step process. There's also a video guide, and it will allow you to get the correct version of Java. There's also the jar fix. Now, most likely you won't need to run this, but I always include it because some people do like to run this after installing Java because it basically relinks all the jar files on their computer back to Java. But for this tutorial, most likely you're just going to need our Minecraft Java installation tutorial here. Now, finally, we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, right? So we're going to go ahead, open up the Minecraft launcher here. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we can go ahead and actually add RAM. To do that, you want to go ahead and click on installations up here at the top. Now, let me clean this out real quick, make it a little bit more uh, easier on the eyes. Now, we have basically just the latest releases and a few vanilla versions of Minecraft. Now, for most of you, you're going to be playing on the latest release version of Minecraft, which is located right here. If that's the case, go ahead and hover over it and click on the three dots on the right-hand side. Now, this adding RAM is going to be per profile. So if you add more RAM to the latest release version and then want to play on the snapshot version, you'll need to repeat this process process again, but it's the same on every single version. You just need to do it on every installation you have. So anyway, for the latest release, we're going to come here, come over here to the right hand side, click on these three dots and click edit. Then you want to go ahead and click on more options down here. So again, from the installations page, so from play, click on installations at the top and then click on the three dots over here on the right hand side on any of these versions that you are playing on, including Optifine, Forge, any of those, this is going to be the same. And then click on edit, then click on more options. Then we want to find JVM arguments. Now, by default, for me, it says JVM 4G. Yours may be something like 4096M or even MB. If it's either of those, just go ahead and delete the number and then add in however many gigs of RAM you want. In my case, 4G is how many RAM gigs of RAM I want. For you, it may be, for example, 2 gigabytes. Now, how much RAM do you need in Minecraft? Usually, vanilla Minecraft doesn't need more than 2 gigabytes of RAM. So 2G is usually going to be fine. If you're doing really crazy stuff like running some shaders, you might want to up that to 4G. And again, that's only if you have a total of 8 gigabytes of RAM on your computer. However, if you're playing mod in Minecraft, for example, you're playing Stoneblock or FTB mod packs or any other Minecraft out there or mine pack out there, including like better Minecraft, you're going to want to make sure that you add in a little more RAM. 
6 gigabytes for lighter mod packs like Better Minecraft should be enough, and sometimes even 4 can be enough for those, but really intensive FTB mod packs, for example, are going to need 8 gigs and sometimes more even of RAM. To be able to add 8 gigs, you would need 16 gigs of total RAM installed. Nothing too crazy these days, but it is something to keep in mind. Now for me, I'm going to set this to 4G here, XMX 4G, and then go ahead and click save. Now it does say, oh no, something went wrong. That's just an internet connection error that's not related to this tutorial at all. Just to prove that, I'll go ahead and click that again, click edit, click on more options, and then we'll up this to 5G, because why not? Again, it says something went wrong, but it's, it's not related to this tutorial. I upped it to 5G and we'll show you in the game how to see how much RAM you have. Uh, apparently I'm having some trouble with the internet today. Anyway, let's go ahead, click on latest release 1.17 and click play. Now it's gonna go ahead and open up Minecraft. It gives us that weird error again. Come on, Mojang, you're hurting my tutorials. You're making people think it's not working when it is working. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and run through the lag. I know it's lagging right now. I know my voice is cutting it and out, and I apologize about that, but the fact of the matter is, I'm learning it straight through because I want you to show you that this is working. So anyway, here we are. We're gonna jump into single player. I'm going to jump into my first 1.17 world, because why not? And then we're going to show you that this is working by hitting F3. So F3 is going to be able to show us how much RAM we actually have in Minecraft. At this point, I'm also going to go ahead and transition into Minecraft. So actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to have the like editor zoom in here because I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to do a jump cut, and that technically would have to require a jump cut to do that. So we're just gonna we're just gonna sit here and let it load up. Look at that beautiful data pack stuff there. Nevertheless, we're gonna go ahead F3, and in the top right we can see how much RAM we have. So as you can see, 5,120 megabytes total dedicated, and we're using up to about 2,500 megabytes of RAM there. It looked like before it does reset. So that first number is how much RAM you're using. The second number is how much RAM you have dedicated to Minecraft. So 5120 megabytes. To prove that, again, we're gonna close out of Minecraft and I'm gonna change it back to four gigabytes. You don't have to do this. I just, because of this error at the bottom with Minecraft servers being down, I wanna show you that it's unrelated, right? That's kinda all I'm doing here. It's an internet issue, it is nothing more. So let's go ahead and change that to 4G and then we're going to go ahead and it says play Minecraft offline, but uh, I think if I click try again, that'll go away and we can click play. So now it's going to open up Minecraft 1.17. And it is going to be working with four gigabytes of RAM. I wanted to show you that just because I, prom I promise that little error is unrelated to this video. It's just Mojang's having issues with their servers as they occasionally do at peak hours on Saturdays. Anyway, uh, kind of annoying there, but we're going to jump into playdropbreakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft 1.17 survival server out there. We also have custom skyblock. You'll love it, so come play with us. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump into playdropbreakdowncraft.com here. And the same rule applies. So if we hit F3 on a Minecraft server in the top right, we will be able to see up here how much RAM it now says four gigabytes or 40 or 4,000 megabytes for example it's four gigabytes instead of five because we did lower it so there you have that if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below hope you enjoyed this video if you did, give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week but uh, yeah that's how you can add or allocate more RAM to Minecraft and make sure you're not adding too much RAM we are currently on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse play.breakdowncraft.com we have 1.17 grief protected survival so come play with us yes 1.17 grief protected survival already out and I cannot wait to see you online. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.